Living in a cooler climate, we are often asked how our native reptiles survive the winter months. Well, our snakes and our lizard species will brumate going down into rock crevices and rodent burrows below the frost line. Alligators, not that they're up here, but if uh, crocodilians encounter ice where they live, they actually stick their snouts out of the water while the ice forms so that they can still breathe while being submerged. But turtles are a whole different story. Turtles will brumate underwater the entire winter, but that means they can't come to the surface and breathe. So instead, they're able to breathe underwater, but not through their mouths. They breathe in a whole different way. It's through their butts. No, I was gonna save that. <laughs> We're here at a local lake that has recently frozen over, but we haven't had snowfall yet, so we have the perfect opportunity to see some brumating turtles through the ice. So let's see if we can find any here. Um, oh my gosh, no way. Oh, yep. There's a snapper right there. Look at that. I don't know if you can, that doesn't help. I can't wipe that away. Do you Hold. see him moving? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There, there he is. is. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So yeah, we're just walking on the ice, looking through, finding turtles, and this is one of the coolest things I think I've ever done. Let's see, you just kind of go through, look for the shape of a shell, trying not to stomp, because I don't want to scare them. Oh my goodness, that's a huge snapping turtle right there. Ah, oh my gosh, that is so cool, hi buddy. Oh, okay, can't, I can kind of see you there. Just chilling under the water. Oh my gosh, that guy is like, Oh, he's like that big, he's huge. Who'd have thought you can go herping in Minnesota in December? As the temperature of the water decreases, so does the temperature of the turtle. That's what it means being cold-blooded or ectothermic is the body temperature of a reptile matches the temperature of their surroundings, right? So along with a decrease in body temperature, a turtle's metabolism also decreases and consequently so does their oxygen requirements. Basically their entire body slows down, but if you think about it, the lake that they're brumating in is covered, or pond or whatnot, is covered in a layer of ice, meaning that they have no pockets or openings to come up and surface from to take a breath of air. So turtles have this amazing ability to absorb oxygen from the water beneath them and there's actually a bunch of turtles under me right now and they are breathing through their butts, literally. Some people may refer to it as butt breathing but the official term is cloacal respiration because inside of the cloaca there are two sacs. These bursa sacs, as they're called, are lined with blood vessels and the sacs will expand and contract, which helps facilitate the movement of water in and out of the cloaca. And as water comes into contact with these expanded sacs, the oxygen diffuses through them and then is absorbed into the body. So the turtles have an amazing way to extract oxygen from water itself. But our winters up here last like four to six months and there's a limited amount of oxygen that was produced by the aquatic plants the summer before. So in smaller bodies of water like ponds and small lakes with all the other organisms underwater also absorbing that oxygen and utilizing it it starts to diminish throughout the winter miraculously painted turtles and snapping turtles have adapted to be able to survive in anaerobic or oxygen lacking environments but doing so causes a buildup of lactic acid in their bodies so they even more surprisingly actually use the calcium from their shells and from their bones to neutralize that acid build up. They can live for months like this in anaerobic conditions, but there are other species like softshell turtles that cannot survive in oxygen lacking or anaerobic conditions. There have actually been experiments done where scientists have submerged painted turtles and snapping turtles and softshell turtles in water lacking oxygen and the painted turtles and the snapping turtles were just fine, they lasted several months, but after I believe a couple weeks the softshell turtles had all perished or they had died. So there are some species of turtles that cannot survive in smaller bodies of water where the oxygen will be lacking near the end of the winter and that's why you'll see some species of turtles like soft shells brumating in rivers or streams where there's constantly new water flowing by that still is pretty oxygen rich. Didn't the painted turtles make it a hundred days in anaerobic conditions? Yeah, the painted did. It's amazing how long they can live in so, anaerobic conditions. So they're survivors. They really are. That's probably why they're so common everywhere. Yeah. However, surviving in such harsh oxygen lacking conditions is pretty tough on the body. And when painted and snapping turtles emerge in the spring, they're like 
one big muscle cramp all over. So that's why it's so important for painters and snappers especially to bask in the sun to warm up those muscles, get oxygen moving through again, and then they can more comfortably move around again. So they're actually quite vulnerable in the spring, that first time they come out and bask in the sun, because they can't move as well as they normally can, so predators can more easily pick them off. It's also what switches their metabolism back to wanting to eat, correct? Yes, yep. Oh, basking in the sun? Yeah. Yes. Yep, that's what kickstarts that metabolism again. So yeah, turtles have some amazing abilities to survive cold winters and harsh conditions. And we had a great tip today on where to go to check out some turtles that were brewmating just below our feet. And actually, there's been a snapping turtle right here under my feet this entire time. Yeah. He's, He's just there. been chilling there. You can't see him through this camera, but Emily's got some clips of him being there. Yeah, yeah, just sitting here. So it's just awesome. One of the coolest things I've been able to experience in quite a while. Yeah. So uh, I hope you learned something new today. As always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for your incredible support on this channel. And thank you to everyone who's here watching our videos too and hanging out with us and learning, in this case, about turtles breathing through their butts. It happens. It's a real thing. There's no shame in it if it helps you survive. Thanks yep. everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. Got to breathe through your butt. Oh, come on camera, you can't see that? He's slowly moving under the ice. He's right there. Oh, the oh it's a snapper! Yeah, the camera can't pick it up though. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's too fast. It looks so funny doing this. And we didn't even really get a shot because I can't really see him. But this is what Emily's been doing to make it so that we can see. <laughs> I'm trying to shade out the turtles so you can see them through the yep. ice. Oh, and we saw a coyote run like tw 10 feet away from us. It was insane, he jumped out of the weeds and then it just took off across the lake. Well, we figured it out. We just needed sunlight. Today is day three filming on this lake and we finally have some good shots. Check this out. Turtle, hibernate or brewmating. Oh, it's a male too, he's got really long claws. Can I zoom in like this? Oh, I can, Oh, no, that's awesome. Wow, that is so cool. We are on day three of filming this turtle brumation video and we just didn't like the footage we got on days one and two because it was a pretty cloudy overcast day. Uh, so we found a small window of time, like two hours worth this morning, where there was sun. So we came out and sure enough, the ground is lit up so you can actually see the turtles. There's a huge snapper right here. This is just awesome. She's been a great one to film for this video because she just doesn't move. So like all the snapping turtle clips are her. <laughs> yeah. On day one, we came out and we saw a couple snappers with a couple painted turtles all kind of swimming together, which was really cool. And it's actually just mind boggling that they're this active in such cold water. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's really neat. There's also a painted turtle. Where is that? Right here. He's just sitting in the, in the muck. So you can only see his back end. I don't know if you can see any of these on camera, but. Yeah, this camera doesn't like to get them. But. So all, the, all of the uh, bee footage was actually taken by our phones because it turns out they can focus on turtles under the ice better than our fancy camera can. It's been an adventure, yeah. for sure. Um, yeah, it's been a fun video though. Yeah, it has. It's a definitely interesting way to view turtles. Yeah, I've never done this before. This is crazy. But yeah. we wanted to share it all with you, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed.